Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to play Volibear Jungle and how to carry games with him. When you're playing Volibear Jungle, you really want to look for easy lanes to gank and in this game I'm starting on my red buff because I want to go from bot to top here towards my Jax who's going to be playing against a Vayne because I think I can get a lot of free kills there with his jump, stun and then my stun as well. Looking at the map here, we can see that the enemy bot lane is missing and that's telling us that the enemy jungler is getting a leash down there and that we might run into him on the top side, so we just have to be careful of that in the future. Because I'm playing Volibear here, I'm going to be going for a full clear pathing on him because he does that by 315, he's very quick in the jungle and I'll only be moving from the jungle when I see a really nice gank available. So while my Victor's pushing up in the mid lane and Vayne is on grey screen simulator, I'm just going to keep clearing my jungle out here. If you remember how we spotted the enemy jungler starting on the bot side, well then here you can take notice that I'm really staring at my mid lane a lot because I really want to be cautious of how far up my victor is pushing because I might want to go there for a counter gank since Viego might try to gank my victor from the top side because he's pushing up quite a lot. Here I'm expecting to run into Viego and I wouldn't really be going for this crab if I didn't have that mid lane priority from the victor because if Anivia had priority she could rotate over and kill me with Viego but of course you see Viego doesn't even bother showing up for this top crab because he knows he can't contest that when I have mid lane prio so he should be on the bot crab and I'm just running straight down here to see if I can contest him on it with my victor while the bot lane is occupied but once I see that this bot lane is really far pushed up and like half HP out of mana I'm thinking wait that looks like a really good gank for me so I'm just coming in here trying to make the gank happen and we do pick up the draven and now I can return to the crab after we just pulled off the gank. Here again I'm a bit cautious of where Viego is but I'm still going for the crab here because I do have full mid and bot lane priority from how we've been playing it out so far. So I do manage to secure this crab up as well and like I'm really curious now at this stage where the heck is Viego? I can't really find him anywhere so maybe he just did a full clear and he's running down to his bot side. So here I am trying to steal away his gromp real quick before he gets back here so that I can keep putting myself ahead of him. And there you go I steal it and now I'm in a little bit of a risky situation but it's fine because I'm Volibear. I can stun him and just run away. Definitely don't want to 1v1 him because he's off of a recall just now. Um, and I kind of just want to get back here, defend my camps, and then recall myself to spend my gold. After clearing out my bot side here so Viego can't steal my camps away, I noticed this gank potential on the bottom lane, and instead of me recalling, which I really wanted to do, I'm gonna go for the gank and then I'm gonna recall. Even if Viego would take my top side because of me doing this gank, that's completely fine because we just got a double kill down here in the bot lane and we're going to get the wave as well. So that's going to be no problem uh, as well. Just one thing we can be cautious of here is pinging our Jax because he's really far up in that lane. And Viego's probably going to gank him since he just saw me on bot lane. You can see I'm zooming in there on that control ward because I know this Jax will not respect the Viego if I'm not pinging him. Looking at that top lane, you can see as well why Jax is so far up. Vayne is trying to freeze the wave and he really wants to walk up to push it in but in this kind of scenario Jax really should just be giving up those three minions for his safety because we've been making plays on the bot side and here I'm going for my Gromp because I don't think Vayne can actually freeze that she's going to be taking a lot of damage uh, but it's completely viable here for me as well or you can see it didn't freeze but it's completely viable here for me as well to walk up into top side and try to look for the fight there because I know I'm really strong right now and I just hit level 6, so this is why I'm doing my Gromp. And now I want to get in position for the top side after I take this crab away because I can pretty much one-shot it. And then get in position for the top side finally because you, you can see this Viego, he obviously wants to go for a gank. There he is, he's coming in. I'm coming in myself, sweeping to get his position, using my Q and ulti to gap close. I'm focusing, focusing the low health target first here, the Vayne. Pick her off. And now this Viego is trying to 1v1 me with my Jax's form, but... I've got three kills. I've, I've been full clearing. I'm so strong right now. You can see the power of Volibear completely smashed that guy. Push the wave in here because nobody's going to catch that otherwise. Um, and now again, I have a lot of gold here. And instead of me recalling, I do want my, my camp tank. So I'm staying on the map here. I see a gank in the mid lane. 
and I'm trying to go I'm trying to go for it. But of course, Anivia respects it. She walks away completely fine. So I can just pivot down here now to my bottom side here. And then if these guys are still pushing up, I can just go look for the gank, like like just like right now. And when you're coming in for ganks, just make sure to place your E ahead of the enemy. So if they walk into it, they're going to be slowed or otherwise you're just going to stun them on that E placement and they're just going to take a big bunch of damage. But you can see again, nice juicy gank on the bot lane here. Summoners forced. We're getting more kills. We're snowballing more. And we know that Viego's going to be on the bot side here because his camps have respawned there. Same as mine. And I'm not going to be doing the dragon here because Viego is down here. Anivia is missing and I want my bot lane to reset and not delay their reset. So I just return to my jungle here and continue the clear. After finishing this off, I'm really thinking about how I want to recall soon because I do have my full cam tank. But when you see Vayne pushing up this far, I just think that is such a juicy gank. And that's going to help turn that lane around for Jax if I just keep coming up here ganking that vein and i even have my ulti up here so if she tries to condemn me you can see this is this is an important mechanic on volleyball you see that condemn you hear it you need to ult it so you don't get pushed away so that you can just go destroy her before this viego even shows up and now we can even chase this viego as well i have flash q's coming up here we go don't even have to flash i can tank the tower for days boom that guy's done my Jax is going to be doing better off, better now in this lane. And now I can just go for the Herald because we just killed Vayne. We just killed Viego. My bot lane just double killed their bot lane because of all the ganks I've been putting down there. Only thing I have to be cautious of here is Anivia rotating over to me. So you can see I pull this out towards Jax away from Anivia just so I have that little bit of safety. And I'm not enclosed in the pit where Anivia will do really well with her ulti. So you can see I'm just playing this nice and safe. My Samira is rotating over. Victor has gone down to the bottom lane here. And once I see her here, I'm coming in. I was thinking about the flash there, but when you see people running at walls like that, you know they're going to flash, so don't bother wasting your flash. So now we've got Herald. I've got 2.5k gold. And now at this stage, I'm just being greedy. I just want to clear out these camps so Viego has no chance of stealing this away. And then I'll try to reset as soon as I can. And also because you can see that dragon is up down there in the bot side. And since I'm going to be so strong on my recall, I really want to group up and start securing these objectives. The enemy team probably knows that I'm in base spending my gold. So Viego's here trying to cheese away the dragon, but Victor says no. And when we see the bot lane pushing up like crazy like this again, I'm going to go there, try to get some juicy kills. And honestly, this this is probably just the Herald opportunity right now for me to break that bot lane tower. I'm checking this dragon here just to see if Viego is still trying to take it away. But what I'm trying to do here now, thankfully that, that Jax is starting to at least go one for one now uh, in the lane. But here, what I'm trying to do is just let's play for the dragon. Let's play for the tower. I've got Herald. We've got the numbers on this side of the map. So like we can just take these objectives away. I saw them walking into my E there and I was thinking I'll be able to get a huge chunk of damage off with my E and my ulti there. Um, and since I'll disable the tower anyway, we can just go for the dive. And you can see here, even though the E did not connect, neither did the ore. Since I'm so strong, I can just get away with these kind of things. Now we drop the Herald, trying to break that tower and then see what else we can do from here. Maybe there are some camps in Viego's jungle that I can take away. Maybe we can go dive mid. Or maybe we can go take away some camps in the top side. So this is the kind of stuff I'll be looking for now at this stage in the mid game. There we go. We can see Anivia pushing up in the mid lane. She has no flash from earlier. And we can just pop her like this because I'm so strong. And my Victor has actually been farming really well as well this game. So he is quite strong also. Looking for some camps in Viego's jungle here because I do have that full mid prio. But when I see that there's nothing up here... I'm just going to return to my own camps and maybe even look for that vein after hitting this honey fruit. Since all of my teammates are recalling now in the mid lane, I'm just going to go back to farming.
now that I can see my lanes pushing up, I'm starting to see now here that I could maybe look for a dive on the Anivia and that maybe I can start contesting these camps away with my laners because you don't want to be doing this alone. You'll get collapsed on, give away a bounty and throw the game. After stealing away the Raptors in red there, we can see that the enemy team is quite far up here in the mid lane, but it doesn't even matter. Victor's rotating in from the side. I'm coming in. Ulti, disable the tower, and that's a nice pick for us. And now we should be able to push these towers and try to get closer to their nexus. Anivia has been missing from the bot lane for a while and Viego's still alive here so we don't want to fight here. We have bounties and instead of us fighting a 4 versus 4 here in the mid lane, it's better for us to just danger ping, get our teammates to back away and allow Jax to just push the top lane out there. Smart macro and not risking anything here. Recall for my dead mans because I don't want to take that fight. I want to recall, be strong, go to the dragon. After clearing out my red buff, I can see a fight going on in the mid lane, and even if it doesn't look like it's winning, if you're ahead, you should just rotate anyway, because usually you can turn it around, as you can see here. And always make sure to take away the enemy camps after you make plays like that. Since we are really ahead and we want to focus on closing out the game, we really want to shift our focus here towards Heralds and Barons, grouping up, finding picks, and sieging together as a team. Because I know how strong I am, I know that I can get away with doing things like this, like this really aggressive Herald summon, because Victor did have TP and trying to crash it in twice here to try and take the inhib. That is looking like a juicy two-man ulti opportunity, but if I go in there, I'm probably gonna die, I'm thinking, so I'm being very patient, and once I recognize that it's not really a great fight i'm gonna walk away and we don't want to be giving away our bounty so that's like the big priority here just want to take the inhib walk away get the baron and then continue to siege and not give away our bounties anyway i think you can recognize at this stage that we've pretty much won the game it's just about closing it out now so really it's just getting your baron sieging, grouping up together with your team, fighting, and ending the game. So I hope you learned something. If you want to catch me live, you can do so at twitch.tv slash prismite. I'm live at 9am UK time, Monday, Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. If you'd like coaching, message me on Discord. Um, but yeah, I think that's, that's about it for this video. So thanks for watching, and I hope you did learn something.